Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back here with another YouTube video and in today's video we're going to be doing another one of these DC MCU concepts or replacing the MCU with DCEU projects. I believe this is part number 14. Anyways, today we got a like I I'm really anticipating this video. I think it's good. I think it's one of my favorite videos I've done in this series and it's going to be replacing Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil War with Superman 3 and it's going to be the death of Superman. Now, before I get into this video, it is going to be the death of Superman, uh, as I just said. It, it's not going to be, I'm going to be straight up, it's, it's somewhat of an adaptation of it, but I've added in my own concepts, my own things about it, uh, and everything, like I've, I, I've added in a, a little bit of, a, 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 um, sorry, just, I screwed up on my words there, sorry. I've added a little bit of different things in terms of, I've changed a little bit into adapting it into kind of like this DCEU concept. Like that that's personally one of my favorite things about the MCU. It's not just straight up copies of the comics. Cause if you want that, uh honestly just read the comics. Uh, how do I also say like if you seriously want that just read a comic. <laughs> or the comic it's supposed to be adapted from. So it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be partially the adaptation of Death of Superman. Sorry about that, uh, but it's going to be uh, again. It's going to be an adaptation of Super, a Death of Superman, but it's going to have its, my own spin on it. I'm going to change up a lot of not a lot of things, but many different things. <clears throat> so, anyways, firstly, let's get into the cast characters introduced. This is going to be like I'm not going to say. Well, actually, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. It, it's going to be a huge movie. Big huge cast. It's not, it's not going to be the biggest. There's going to be even bigger. Uh, just saying that right now. There's going to be it's going to be even bigger. Uh, firstly, in terms of characters getting introduced, we're going to finally get our first look at Aquaman. He, he's going to be in this movie, and Captain Adam will be introduced as well as I guess you could say he's introduced to Doomsday. So, this will kind of be like one of our first culminative events, in a sense. Anyways, uh, so, first of all, let's get through the cast real real quick. So, first of all, in terms of casting information, we got the original Justice League all coming back. Everybody's back. Uh, with the exception, everybody from the Justice League 2, with the exception, um, I decided not to have John Stewart and Guy Gardner in this movie. Uh, they're off doing some other thing as well as Martian Manhunter. He will not. He'll, he'll make a brief cameo, but I chose not to put him in this movie either. Not well, At least not really. Uh, as well as the Titans, they're off doing their own thing. Like These these movies are simultaneously happening. So um, basically happening at the same time. So characters that are in Titans will be doing off doing their own thing. While as this main Justice League core is, 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 is uh, doing their own thing here. Um, but anyways, the the film kicks off. Uh, first thing we see is that Martian Manhunter is being sent on basically space exploration, worrying about the new uh, watchtower that they're building, ba essentially, as problems are growing within the Justice League and everything. So Martian Manhunter decides, I think it's time to build a watchtower. So he's building that. He's off building that, uh, as well as Hal Jordan. Uh, he's gone and he is doing that as well. Uh, and uh, John Stewart, Guy Gardner, they're back on Oa, helping out on Oa, so they will not be here. Uh, yeah, oh, sh sorry, I, for I forgot to get in the casting. Sorry, sorry, uh, before, I before I even start saying things. Sorry, but again, we have the core Justice League member, which is Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg. Hal and Hal Jordan Green Lantern so that's the core basically and then we got now we got new hitters such as Flash, Hawkman, Martian Manhunter, Green Arrow, Hawk Girl, John Stewart, Guy Gardner, now Aquaman and also Captain Adam. Quickly running through the cast quickly Batman's Jake Gyllenhaal, Superman's Henry Cavill, Wonder Woman's is Gal Gadot, 
Cyborg's Ray Fisher. Cyborg's Ray Fisher. Green Lantern is Hal Jordan is John Kaczynski. And then in terms of the new one, we got Aldous Hodge as Hawkman. Adzel Algort as Flash. Martian Manhunter is Shuetel Elijah for. Uh, Green Arrow is Charlie Hunnam. Then Hawkgirl is Sophia Butella. Butiella, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I, I might have mispronounced it just now. Sorry about that. Uh, and then in terms of new introduction, or actually also another returning character I'm also putting in this movie is Lex Luthor. He'll be returning, uh, played by Jude Law. Uh, and then Aquaman, he's going to be played, introduced in this movie, and he's going to be played by Chris Hemsworth. Now, I know a lot of people might be saying, oh, shit, why, why did you do this? Why, why would you put Chris Hemsworth as Aquaman? Um, it's just because, honestly, I feel like he could play a really good Aquaman. Like, he, he looks like a comic actor one, too, especially. Uh, and he just looks the role. And I want to go for a more comic book-esque character with the blonde hair. Uh, the short blonde hair as well. Like, the, the, the short blonde hair. Uh also more of a lighter toned and stuff so that's the reason why i i really enjoy jason momoa's aquaman i think he does an awesome job nice nice casting decision there but uh in terms of these movies i'm trying to go for a more moderate tone it's, it's still dark tone but i'm trying to go a little bit lighter and also more a little bit more comic character in terms of the, some of these characters uh but yeah, I have a even better role for Jason Momoa. I think he can nail, like, awesome. He fits this role really well, and I'll introduce him eventually. Uh, yeah, and then Captain Adam. Honestly, honestly, I, I didn't know who I really wanted to cast at him, as him. But if you when you when you hear the concept of this movie, you'll kind of understand why I did it. And that's Richard Madden. I decided to make him Captain Adam. So, yeah. Uh, in terms of Zaxxent, uh, I also want to say this too. In terms of Zaxxent, I don't, I don't think he's really ever done an American accent, but I would try and go for that more Texas, or not Texas, more of like that Southern American accent. So, yeah, that, 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 that's like the biggest reason with, within that. I'm not sure if Richard Mack can do it. I, I honestly don't know, but he's a phenomenal actor, so I'll leave him, leave him in there for sure. Uh, now let's get into the concept of the movie so basically picking up after the events of age of brainiac uh or sorry not age of brainiac world of brainiac uh we basically see like the justice league wants to start uh essentially becoming a b much bigger trying to get these threats instead of like having them come like that instead they're trying to now build the watchtower now within that is now Martian Manhunter and also Green Lantern. How Jordan have decided to leave planet to basically create the new Watchtower uh, in space, of course. Uh, and then John Stewart and Guy Gardner have, are still on Oa. So yeah, and the Titans are with their team, Suicide Squad with their team and everything. So yeah, uh, so that's a, that's a big explanation to what happens. Now we we finally see Jude Jude Law's Lex Luthor as he's now working with the U.S. government to decrease prison sentence. As now he's helping with the project of Captain Adam, who's basically just became was a U.S. soldier just became Captain Adam when he was infected with some sort of radiation. It's it's kind of like a mystery, I'll say to, to say the least, of what he was really infected with. But all of a sudden, now he's become this U.S. powerhouse. And the U.S. government is, like, not really trusting too much the Justice League after that damage from the last movie. So they're like, we need something of our own. And so they decide to ask Lex for help. And Lex, of course, helps them with a catch. He basically just brainwashes him, Captain Adam, and basically controls him, essentially. So, yeah, we see that happen. Uh, so that happens. And then we see... We actually end up seeing a spaceship carrying some sort of thing. We're not exactly sure what it is. But we see it crash land. It crash lands. And up to the scene we see Hawkman, Hawk Girl, and uh, Wonder Woman head to the scene. Where it's then we end up seeing all of those characters basically there. 
just waiting it out. And then all of a sudden we see red eyes and out of nowhere Doomsday comes. And Doomsday wreaks havoc severely, severely injuring Hawkman. I'm talking breaking his his arms and everything, destroying Hawkman. Same with Hawkgirl, but he, he, he destroys Hawkgirl a little less than Hawkman. But Hawkman just brutally destroyed, like his bones are broken. He he cannot walk, he cannot do anything. So he's completely uh, down and out. Uh, so yeah, then we see that happen. And then, uh, yeah, that, that happens. Hawkman's severely injured. You see that happen? And then um, Hawk Girl gets injured too. They're they're beaten to a bloody pulp. I don't know what else to say. They're beaten up real bad. And then we end up seeing Wonder Woman put up a, a really good fight. Like she's fighting and hanging on for a while, but she just can't can't deal with Doomsday. Like she she ends up breaking, and then Doomsday completely puts her out of commission. Like. Now all these three characters are basically beaten to a bloody pulp. They are completely destroyed. Only then they are basically... Uh, the only reason they were spared is they were actually about to die. Like Doomsday, Doomsday was literally about to literally kill them. Like he, he was about to take a sword and just bloody... Just kill them. When all of a sudden uh, we end up seeing Aquaman. He comes out of nowhere. He builds a portal of water all around them and essentially, no, he doesn't build a portal of water. He essentially tries and helps them uh, and manages to basically put them in the water and get them out of there, essentially. Now, it's very important to note as well, Aquaman is not a part of Atlantis yet. I want to say that right off the bat. He's not a part of Atlantis or anything to do with that. So he's just a regular guy essentially. He's essentially just really Arthur Curry. Uh, so then he takes them away. And he manages to get them back to the Justice League. Where it's there we see basically a meeting of Batman, Flash, Green Arrow. Sorry, Batman, Flash, Green Arrow, Cyborg, and Cyborg. As they're essentially just there. Uh, and that's where we see like the five of them are just like. This is kind of bad. Uh, where, it's, where Superman. And Superman is off on his own. Doing his own thing in Europe. And he doesn't really realize this. Until afterwards. They don't alert him or anything. Uh, so we see that. And Doomsday is essentially gone into hiding of, of sorts. So we don't see Doomsday at all. And uh, that's essentially what happens. And then all of a sudden we hear somewhat of like a big bang come from the door. And uh, then I, we end up seeing Captain Adam. He's revealed and he's like, Justice League, this is enough. America's had enough of your tyranny, the blah, 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 stupidness. Essentially, he's being controlled by Lex Luthor. And Luthor doesn't like the Justice League or anything. So he's going... Captain Adams like arrest yourselves immediately like this is now the government needs to be involved with this and stuff and um, that's when we see uh, Captain Adam like surrender now or, or uh, we're being challenged we're challenging you basically to a fight and Batman's not having anything of this and he's getting mad as well as the other league league members and then that's when we see Captain Adam just go full on berserk mode and literally just beat up the Justice League. He beats them up. He doesn't beat them any bad or anything like that. He just he just kind of sort of beats them. Uh, that's when we end up seeing Superman fly in, and he essentially just grabs Captain Adam and is just like, "What's going on here?" And pretty much kind of beats up Captain Adam to the point Captain Adam just retreats. Uh, that's then in there that we see end up seeing the government. Who then has a chat and apologizes for Captain Adam. I think it's... And then they're like, it's Lex Luthor. And Luthor, we, we switch to Luthor. We don't even see him at his cell. So then Luthor is gone. And he basically has control of Captain Adam. So that was one storyline there. Uh, so we end up seeing all, all that happening. 
Bam. And then here's where things get a bit interesting. I completely forgot to say this when the uh, character introductions was around. Uh, but we end up seeing a Kryptonian spaceship crash down. And we end up seeing none other than Supergirl. Now Supergirl is going to be played. Supergirl is essentially going to be played by. Uh, actually, I'm going to cast Sasha Kali as Supergirl. So Supergirl is going to be ending up playing, played by her. Now, important to note, with with the age of Supergirl, she's about a, a little bit older than Nightwing's age, I would say, like early 20s. So she's fairly old. So then we see her like she's rushing to uh, for everything and whatnot. And we see that happen. Uh... So yeah, then the Justice League is just the rest of the league that the, that's really left are like basically wondering what's going to go on. We need to find Lex Luthor and we need to fight off this whatever threat this is. And then we see like Wonder Woman, she's beat to bloody pulp and we end up meeting Aquaman. Uh, now Aquaman is literally like, I don't want no uh, issues with this. Like I'm not involved with the Justice League or anything like that. But then Batman's like, you you seem like you're pretty useful. We could use teams like this and everything. So then he's like, you you could have an open invitation to the league. We can help train you. So then Aquaman just like, all right, yeah, that could be cool. And he essentially kind of allows it, but doesn't allow it at the same time because he doesn't have full focus on the league. So then that happens. And uh, yeah, basically Aquaman's now kind of in the Justice League of sorts. Uh, and this is where we fast forward a bit. We end up actually seeing Batman basically training Batgirl, who has now been named Batgirl, uh, played by Sadie Sink, who's playing Batgirl. She's still about a teenager, but now she's like the next prodigy for, prodigy for Batman, essentially. So we see that go all around in full effect and everything. Uh, so yeah. Uh, then it cuts, and we end up seeing again, uh... The league gets reports of Doomsday going there. Now Superman, for some uh, reason, decides not to just allow the league to go fight fight whatever they were fighting. Not knowing it's Doomsday. And then Doomsday really beats the Justice League to a bloody pulp. Like, he destroys them. And then we end up seeing uh, Supergirl ends up meeting Superman. And, and the whole relationship happens. But here's where it goes for an odd turn. Like Sue, Supergirl, is this then there. And Superman tells her to go to the Fortress of Solitude. And basically like regen and stuff. Uh, it is then there we see... It is then there we see, uh, again, Doomsday is beating up everybody. And Superman rushes to the scene and basically helps out. He They go on a uh, final battle and stuff. And then... Unfortunately, then Doomsday ends up killing him and Superman kills Doomsday at the same time. So then the two of them literally kill each other and Superman is dead. He is now dead. Uh, we end up seeing Batman who's brutally beat up. He, he comes over and is literally trying to help Superman. As literally like, oh, this is really bad. Uh, and then we end up seeing like all the league members come and everybody who that's left is like just bleed into a bloody pulp. It's then we see Supergirl all like sad and stuff of what just happened. And uh, yeah, we see Lois and everybody and then everybody attends a suit funeral where he's then essentially buried but not really buried. Uh, where his body ends up getting transported to the new watchtower. It gets revealed we have a new watchtower now. Uh, so yeah, that then that happens and everything, and now now they have a new watchtower and everything, and then that's when we see Supergirl end up taking his body to somewhere. We end up seeing his body ends up being missing. So then we're wondering exactly what went on, and yeah, the movie cuts off there. Now for for a post credit scene, uh, what I wanted to do is essentially. I was going to tease uh, essentially that 
Um, essentially, sorry. Uh, Dark Dark Side was gonna get teased. Uh, uh, Superman was gonna literally be, be like. Um, sorry. He he was literally gonna be like. Uh, somebody, uh, Grand Goodness, or somebody was gonna be like. Dark Side, the Kryptonian is dead, and uh, then Dark Side would have been like, "Ready the Armadas, we're going to go to Earth," and basically the same person who plays Dark Side in those those movies before, he 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 will return to he will, he will return to play Dark Side. Um, so yeah, that that's that's what happens. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much what happens. This video has gone on for 20 minutes, but I mean, it was a, it was a highly anticipated video, highly climactic event of sorts. So that, that was all like a big reason into what was going on uh, with it. Uh, as well as we end up at, at actually like a very post credit scene right at the end, we end up seeing Superman basically essentially in a regenerative crate. Uh, uh, in the Fortress of Solitude, we see him, and uh, yeah, th that's pretty much it, though. Uh, anyways, uh, sorry for the long, long video. It's like 21 minutes. It's gonna take a long time to upload to YouTube. I just realized, but it's whatever. It's a highly cl climactic event, so it's all right. Anyways, that's pretty much it, though. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.